to my channel. If you're new to Be Lounge Makeup, I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm finally here today with my apartment tour. This video has been long overdue. It's been months since I've been wanting to post it, but I kept on just waiting for something else to arrive, or I kept on wanting to organize something or play something differently that I didn't want to film it until I knew for sure it was exactly how I wanted it, of course. When it comes to like your home, there's always gonna be different things that you change, that you wanna like reorganize or rearrange, and I just thought, forget it, I'm just gonna do it already. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I did not film the beauty room, the second bedroom I'm leaving for a, sepa for a separate video, as I had mentioned before. I did film my balcony. That was also something else that was kind of a pain to film because I wanted to do it during you know, the daytime, obviously when it was good weather. Last weekend, it kind of was a little bit rainy, so I couldn't do it then. So it was just all these little factors that were just getting in the way. So you're gonna see that I filmed pretty much the living room, kitchen area during the bright daylight and that's when I filmed the outside. And then it just got a little bit late and I filmed my bedroom in the evening. So the bedroom lighting is a little bit darker, but that's kind of how my bedroom is all the time because I like to, to be like a little cave where you can sleep so nice and it's cold and it's dark. And um, that is like my cozy bedroom. And then I do have all the light over here in the living room area. Part two is just gonna be my beauty room. So that beauty room is pretty much already finished. I got everything that I needed. I got the last piece of furniture that I needed, but I just didn't want this video to be way too long. And then I did want to dedicate a little bit more time in the beauty room and show you guys kind of how I organize my makeup, how I organize a closet that I have in there and all that stuff. So I just kind of want to dedicate a little bit more just to the beauty room. But today you are going to see my full apartment tour, my balcony. So we better get started. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm so excited about my apartment and I've been so happy here. It's like the best. I've just been so excited buying all these things for decoration, for organization. So there are definitely gonna be more videos that are gonna be coming out of this. Like I was just, just by filming the apartment tour, I was like, I need to do an updated shower tour. I need to do an updated organization tour. And just so many different videos just were like coming to my mind just from filming this one. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys want me to talk about and just go into further detail. Definitely wanna do something for how I organize myself and just a couple new setups that I have just come up with with living in an apartment and just kind of living on my own. So we'll be doing a video about that. So I better so stop yapping and I just want to welcome you guys and I hope that you enjoy my new home. So we are entering the apartment and here is pretty much the first thing that you see when you enter my place. It has a nice little foyer in the entrance. The first thing you see is this little table. This little table I got from Wayfair.com. That picture I got at Z Gallery. And I just have a nice little entrance thing with some flowers, some things from my parents' house that I took. And that little pot was also my mom's. I put some flowers. Got this cute little box at Home Goods. This diffuser smells so good. It's by K Hall Designs in the amber scent. Highly recommend it. They also have a really good candle. This candle is from Anthropology. It's called Candlefish, the library at Candlefish, and that is the cedar, lime, and leather one. So this is the entrance. If I look to my right, you're gonna see a little wall of six paintings. Well, not paintings, sorry, six pictures. These are actually the pictures that I had in my bedroom. I don't know if you guys remember from lots of the places where I've traveled at. I actually wanna change a couple pictures and add some from my last family trip when we went on the Mediterranean cruise. So this is pretty much what you see when you turn around and look back at the entrance of the foyer. The pictures from my trips that were in my bedroom. There I look back at the front door. I have a little umbrella thing. This also used to be my mom's. So I'm really into that blue and white type of look. You're gonna see in the colors of the house that I have a lot of blue and white. I have a lot of mint. So then as I turn to the left, so basically once you walk into the house, you see this, you make a left, and this is kind of where you see like the whole layout of the apartment. So you have to my right is a second bedroom, which that is a beauty room. That I won't be showing you guys today. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. 
To the left, you're gonna see the first door is my half bathroom. So this is great because you have a bathroom for all the guests. This bathroom, I had it painted a pinky purple type of color. I have these two paintings. These were also at my parents' house. I just had them reframed and they're Paris paintings and Paris is like my favorite city in the whole wide world. So I definitely wanted to keep those. To the left right here, here it is just the air conditioning room. So it's really nothing major. That's where the AC is. And this other door right here, this is where I have my little washer and dryer. So there I have my little basket with my supplies of the washer and dryer. So that's really nothing special. Then it kind of opens up into the living room. And then to the right is where I have my kitchen. So let me show you guys the kitchen first. So the kitchen I'm really happy with. I really love the kitchen. I especially love that all the appliances were brand new when I moved in. Love the refrigerator. The two doors on top are just like the regular refrigerator and the two drawers at the bottom are the freezer. So as you walk in to the left of the counter, here I have my little coffee station because you always have to have your coffee stuff. Love Nespresso. This is an espresso machine that my brother got me for my housewarming present with the Arrochino. Good tip, I read that you should always leave it upside down. So I always leave it upside down because I remember the one that we had at the house it also like kind of died on us and then I left it upside down for like a week and then it started working again. So that's just a little tip I wanted to share. I also, a friend of mine as a housewarming gave me this little cute drawer for your coffee and then on top of it, it's like a glass where you put your machine. But I have it all decorated with all these coffees and all these beautiful colors, which I try not to touch these until I finish these. And here are really much, pretty much my favorite flavors, which by the way, they are the ristretto, which is the blue black. I love the capriccio, which is the green, and I love the dark can. I think the dark can is like my number one favorite, which is this blue color, and I just like them. I like them strong. I think the lightest one is the capriccio one, but like if I have a good coffee in the morning, I'll have the black or the blue, and then maybe like another one in the afternoon, then I'll do the green. These are really cute little things that I got at Macy's from Kate Spade for the milk, for the sugar. I also have these two little jars of Kate Spade. One has brown sugar and one just has some chocolates in case someone wants to help themselves. So this is my little coffee station. Then as you move to the right, you have the sink. I love it because this thing is like the best. It's one of those that you like pull down and you can just kind of like clean real easily. So I put all these little thingies from the container store just to keep it nice and organized. Then to my right, I have some knives, my wine opener. That's an electric wine opener. That was my mom's, I took that from her. Got a toaster. I have a dishwasher. Then over here, I have a little pantry, which actually looks small, but it fits a lot of stuff. I have this picture frame here. This used to be in my bedroom. This was actually like a little accidental type of thing, and it just ended up staying there. Behind that frame is actually like the electrical outlet thingy, so it's like a big metal door, which I thought looked awful, and it was like big and long, so that was the only picture frame that actually covered it. So I kind of just left it there and I kind of got used to it. And then I have this clock in the mint green that I got at Target, and then here is the other side where you see the stove. I actually had this backsplash put in after I got the place. It did not have a backsplash. And I also put these little lights just to light it up a little bit more. So this backsplash, um, I just thought it was really pretty. It has like that minty, you know, green, the blues, just kind of like that whole little arrangement. Here are the kitchen cabinets, microwave, oven, you know, all of the above. So after the kitchen, then you have 
This bedroom right here, this is my bedroom, which is the master bedroom of the apartment. I'll show you guys that a little bit later. And then now here is kinda where everybody just hangs out. Here is my dining room table. This is actually a dining room table that I had given my parents as a gift, um, but when they moved into their new place, they wanted to get something a little bit different. They wanted a glass dining room table, so that's what they got, and I kept theirs. I actually bought new chairs, though, because you know the wooden feet kind of matched pretty well and I like these because they were just nice and cushiony and they looked a little bit fancy so I got these two chairs at City Furniture this one and that one the benches had already come with the um, the dining room set I did get all my lamps at Wayfair.com so Wayfair let me just tell you is a wonderful website they have so many things and some of the things that I received were damaged in the packaging and when you call customer service right away they like send you a brand new piece one of the pieces that i got was was broken and they just basically told me just to keep it and they were going to send me a brand new one because i guess it's probably just more expensive for them to have it shipped back than just to send out a new one but they're just really great company really great customer service they have so much variety in that website that i was just so excited so pretty much all the lamps are from wayfair this one is kind of like the one that kind of like hangs like a little chandelier it does go with the one that I have in the living room, and it also kind of goes with the one I have in the kitchen. I ended up hanging the two picture frames from Z Gallery that I had in my makeup room. I don't know if you guys remember that, that I had them in my makeup room. Actually, no, I had that one in my bedroom, and that one was in my makeup room. Because they were like the first paintings that I really, really loved, that I got myself, that when I moved in, it was like the first two things that I had readily available and I really wanted to hang them out here. And I just like loved them. So I know it's really girly, but I mean, I don't care. I'm just so excited that I was able to like get my own place and decorate it myself that I just thought I'm gonna decorate it with whatever the hell I want. And I don't care if it's girly or what, but I was just so excited. Then here is the living room to the right. Here's the exit to the balcony. And here you have some ottomans. These are actually storage ottomans, which come in so handy. Also got these at wayfair.com. Then I have a little side table where I put my albums at the bottom. I always dreamed of having like a coffee table or some sort of table where you can put albums and books. And finally here I chose to put my, my albums. These are pretty much all the albums that I've made on Shutterfly. This end table is from Z Gallery and it's called the Abigail table. I have a lamp. This lamp was my mom's lamp at her house and I always loved it. So that's like one of the first things I told her, like I get the lamp. I have a little, um, what do you call these? Like one of those oil diffusers that throw out like the little steam of the oil. So um, a friend of mine gave that to me for my house warming. I got a little basket where I have all the remote controls to keep it nice and neat that I got at the container store. So here you have the TV. I have like this console table where I was able to put some of like my tabletop books, you know, some picture frames, some flowers, Just a little bit of decor. That console table I got at City Furniture. I also have like these two little lamps at the bottom that are from Target. Then here I have this rug is also from Z Gallery. The sofa, again, it's a sofa that I had gifted my parents. And for their new apartment, they ended up getting one that was a little bit smaller because they just had a lot more living room furniture than I had. So they were able to give me some because they had a, pretty much it was like the whole house. And I was just able to, to keep some of the items, which was really cool that I didn't have to buy you know, completely everything, all new furniture. So that, pretty much I got it from my parents. The two pillows are also from Z Gallery. I love those pillows from Z Gallery. They're beautiful. And all these paintings pretty much are from Z Gallery. I have this one here with the champagne that says Chanel. This one has the champagne that says Tiffany. So I just thought that these were really cute and I love champagne. Then to the right of the console table, I have a little bar. So this is like a little bar cart. It's called, I think it's called the Metropolitan Bar Cart, also from Z Gallery. So I have some friends who gave me, you know, some little martini types of sets. I have some champagne buckets, which I just kept as decor and some champagne. This bottle is so cute. It's from Z Gallery. It's like a little fake little decor bottle. These are some little champagne flutes that I thought were so cute. They don't really have a bottom. 
but you can put them in, you know, in the little bucket and keep them nice and, you know, just like cute when you're about to serve them. Some of these champagnes are like, oh, I love them so much. So I'm just kind of saving them for a really good occasion, um, but they're here. Then here I have a chest. This chest is so old. It was my mom's. She had brought it from Panama when she moved over here. It's been painted so many colors. And then I asked her if I could keep it. So she gave this to me and I had it painted white. And then I kept the her, these were also my mom's, like the blue and white little porcelain type of decorations. I have my Alexa on there. And then I have my little Bose player for the iPod there, which I've had for a long time. And I just put it there, that thing sounds so good. And then here on top of like the kitchen, I don't know, what do you call this? Like the bar type of area. I just have a little, you know, a little arrangement that I kind of made myself. I bought this pot at Home Goods, and there's two orchids in there that I just kind of shoved in there. And accidentally, I just thought it was beautiful. And then I just also bought that candle. I kind of left it there because it was nice and pink and it matched the orchid in there. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the living room area. you guys the outside of the apartment and this is like the balcony you can actually go out through that window or this window but usually I like to keep this one as the one that is open right now I have the blinds closed I'll show you how it looks when it's open but here is the outside the balcony is huge for what people are normally used to with apartment buildings so I have like this side right over here is one corner then you go all the way around to this corner and there's more. The right side is even longer than the left side and then this is all the balcony. So I just kind of want to give you a quick, I have some things covered just because I didn't uncover everything. I usually just uncovered what I use the most, but I mean, it's just all this area. So it's like huge. I remember the first time I saw this place, I was like, no way, that balcony can be mine. And it was just so exciting. So this is like my favorite little section from the balcony, just because it's under a little roof. So it's really great because I wish the whole thing would be covered, but obviously, not it's not the majority is open but there is a little roof under here and then I have another little roof under that section right there so that's kind of where I kept the nicer type of furniture all this furniture was from my parents place because since my balcony is so big everything that they had in the backyard at the house fit here and all I did was just get new pillows because you guys know I'm obsessed with the mint green so I got these pillow these are from home goods and they're like Martha Stewart and then over there I have like the two, um, what do you call those things where you can just like pretty much lay down in some way, but I have those covered. I have yet to use them, you know, and just to like lay out over here, but they fit there perfectly. Here I just have like a little bar table with some bar stools, which when I had my housewarming party, we put them out there in the corner. It looked really nice. I'm hoping to find some footage from the housewarming party so that you guys can kind of see how this place looks in the evening. And we put really cool like little lights in these little bags that were really really pretty here's my balcony this is a balcony it's humongous we put this little luminaries here there's a little table and it wraps around the whole floor there are the luminaries here's the bar and then look here you can look into the makeup room
dark outside already and the lighting is like getting ruined on me but I wanted to share with you guys the curtains this is the curtain closed and this is what it looks like when the curtain is like halfway open because you can kind of do that so I could basically lower this or raise it a little bit and stop it right there and that will mean it's closed or I can just open it a little bit and you see if you match the basically the little stripes you can pick where you want it open whether you want it open or closed or you can just raise it completely So see there you see the window completely open and then this one right here is completely shut and let me show you what this one looks like when you open it a little bit See boom and there you see it open you know so it's just really nice I just really love these curtains and the ones in my bedroom you'll see are a little bit different they're the same idea but the other ones block out a lot more light since it's for the bedroom but it blocked out I'll tell you guys right now when I show you guys in there but I even added an additional blackout blind so that it could be really really dark this painting I actually got at Wayfair and I just kind of like picked it out on Wafer and then I realized that it was by the same people who painted all of these and I love all their paintings. I think they're two sisters, Oliver Gal, and they're the ones who do all these like Louis Vuitton type of things, Chanel things on the wall. Not this one, not the big one here, but it was just such a coincidence. I have some more in my bedroom. So it's obvious that I like their style because I bought the other things even accidental. I think the only two things that I don't have from them are these. Those are from my mom. And the one at the entrance, I don't even know who that's from, but it's so funny that I have so many Oliver gals. So now let me show you guys my bedroom. This is the master bedroom of the apartment. And I've pretty much already shared this with you guys before. Now you are gonna see some changes from the first time I showed it to you guys because now it is fully, fully finished. I believe it was when I did a vlog it was, I think, towards the end of last year. I'll go ahead and link it down below. And it was kind of like a blog telling you guys about my move and stuff. But I'm really excited about my bedroom. I got, like, all my dream furniture that I had been wanting. I didn't bring any of my bedroom stuff from my old house. That bedroom furniture that I had in my old house, I pretty much had since I graduated college when I moved back home. Because I went away to school. I went away to school in New Orleans. And um, when I came back home, that was a gift that like my parents gave me and I moved back in with my parents and they bought me all this new furniture and that's what I've had ever since until now. So let me tell you guys a little bit of where I got everything in my bedroom. So when you walk in, you see a carpet. This carpet is from Z Gallery and the bed is also from Z Gallery. I believe this is called the Jameson bed and I really wanted a bed with like the upholstered background and I love that it had the studs and most of the beds that I found with the studs they um didn't have silver studs and when I finally found this one at Z Gallery I knew that's exactly the one that I really wanted. I actually initially had got one from City Furniture and it was more white and two times the bed came and it was dirty and I returned it. Finally the second time I was like you know what I was trying to save money because it was a lot cheaper and then at the end of the day I just went with the one that I really wanted. The furniture I got from Pottery Barn. This is the park mirrored furniture and that is like the park dresser. They actually just came out with one that is like a double dresser. It's kind of like two dressers side to side in one big piece. But I got this one with the three drawers and then I got the tall chest with the six drawers. So I thought that these two just looked really beautiful. It's a lot more, I think the Pottery Barn mirrored furniture is a lot more smaller than like bigger mirrored furniture. I looked around so much for the mirrored furniture and this is really the one that I really wanted. It's a little bit more expensive because it was Pottery Barn, but honestly, the mirrored furniture that I saw at City Furniture, American Signature Furniture, Z Gallery, it's all really, really expensive. Like the whole mirror thing is just expensive as it is. So I feel like if you're gonna do it, just get the one that you really want because all the dressers that I saw at the furniture stores that technically are a little bit less pricey than Pottery Barn 
were pretty much about the same. And then this mirrored furniture was a little bit smaller than the other ones. The other ones were like really big. I don't think it would have fit in my bedroom. So I just really needed to get something that fit and that is why I chose this one. As you can see, like I have a wall over there. So it kind of limited the width pretty much of the bedroom area and I did want to have the two night tables. So I got the inspiration of the two mirrors from a post that I saw on Instagram that I really, really loved. And I bought those two mirrors at Z Gallery. The lamp is from Z Gallery. My bedding is from Macy's, it's Calvin Klein. The pillows I have bought at Home Goods. For example, these two in the center that have a little bit of silver, those are from Home Goods. The two that are kind of like popping up right there are also from Home Goods. But the bedding, these two little pillows right over here, this is Calvin Klein. The bedding is Calvin Klein. And then this I already had in my old house. It's just like another little bedding set that I have. So I pretty much just used the two pillows for that. So I had already shared with you guys my curtains and I did make a small change. Before I just had these curtains that you see here. These are very similar to the ones that I showed you guys in the living room, except they have like this stripe that is not just like a plain light white fabric. It actually has like a, a blacking out type of fabric where it kind of like blocks out the sun. And then just like the ones in the living room, you know, when you match the stripe to whatever lane, basically like stripe that way, um, if you put it here, it's clear. If you put it here, it gets dark, right? But for me, it was not dark enough. So what I did was I added another layer of blackout on the inside. So now it really, really does get dark. And I am able to lift this one all the way up where the one in the front, I can have it like this, where the light is being blocked, or I can have it like this, where you do see some light come in through it. Right now, the one in the back is completely lifted, but that one does, I mean, it's completely down, but that one goes up and then I can see like a little bit of light. Or of course, you can just like raise it completely, both of them, and then you have like your full on, you know, window completely open. Right now, it's just really, really blocked, but that's how I like it for my bedroom. Like, I like the living room bringing in a lot of light, but I like my bedroom nice and cozy and dark and very, very cold. So here on top of my dresser, I pretty much just have this tray. This is like the tray where I just kind of throw all the jewelry that I take off and I just put it on the tray in here. I have some necklaces that are hung up here. Kind of the things that I use more on a daily basis, even though I don't really keep my jewelry in this bedroom. I keep my jewelry in the second bedroom in the beauty room. And then on top of the other dresser, I keep my perfumes in the bedroom. And this is the painting that was in my bedroom. That is from when I studied abroad in Paris. You guys have seen that before. I got this painting right here at Z Gallery. It's also from Oliver Gal, just like I have in the living room, the same painter. And I just love the chest from Louis Vuitton. And then on this side, I have kind of like a Chanel perfume bottle, which is also from Oliver Gal. And I also got this at Z Gallery. So I have this basket down here that I got at Home Goods. That is kind of like the basket for, it's not really completely dirty, but it's also not clean because I wore it for 30 minutes to go to my parents' place upstairs. You know, so I just kind of like have this basket there to throw in that type of stuff. If you want to either reuse it or you only use it for five minutes. That bench right there is the bench where I basically take off all the pillows when I go to bed and I put them there on the little bench. That is a storage ottoman. And I also had that at my um, old bedroom. Now let's go into here. This is the hallway, the miniature hallway. I have a mirror right here. This mirror is from City Furniture. And I love that there's like lighting in the hallway as well. And I also just got this right here. This is like a little Audrey Hepburn type of painting also from Oliver Gal from like Breakfast at Tiffany's, which I think it's beautiful. And here is my walk-in closet. So this is how I have my closet organized. One thing that I did miss from my old closet was that my old closet had a lot of drawers. This one had no drawers, so I kind of had to get creative with how I organize my stuff. So that is also another reason why I made sure that I had a lot of dresser drawers, just because um, I needed the 
some certain stuff I like to fold and put in drawers. And that is why I have all those drawers over there to put all that stuff in there. And then the stuff that hangs over here. So I have my two hampers over there because I like to separate my things between the clothes that I kind of like wash and hang and I don't put in the dryer and the clothes that I can wash and throw in the dryer. I have these little baskets from Home Goods and that one right there, which is kind of like the whole Mary Kondo thing in the baskets. And that is where I keep a clean um, set of new sheets. I do have a lot of space in the closet because I kind of like spaced out my stuff between this closet and the other closet. I have a luggage in there. Um, this area, this long hang stuff here, that I kind of like to leave very empty because that is where I hang my clothes that I like to air dry that I don't like to put it in the dryer. So pretty much when I'm doing laundry, this is all filled up. So I kind of like to leave it like that just because it really helps me kind of like organize and take care of the clothes as I am washing it. And I bought these little drawers from Container Store to fit some more shoes because I needed some more shoe space. So here I have like my flip flops, some sandals and things like that. Things that you can easily put in a little drawer. You fit 10 in one and then you buy the little drawer separately or else you could also just like leave it like that and stick them in there. But I just thought that the drawers looked a little bit nicer for the closet. So here pretty much you can fit 10 pairs of shoes, 10 pairs of shoes, and some of them I even doubled up like for the sandals. I still keep some of my shoes how I used to have them. Some of them are out and some of them are in boxes. These boxes are empty because I've been giving away some shoes just because I've been trying to get rid of some stuff and you know, open up some more space. And this is my bathroom. The other thing that I really miss from my old place was that I used to have a jacuzzi jet tub and this one does not have jets so I really miss it. I definitely one time, one day in the future, I will again get a jacuzzi jet bathtub in my bathroom because it is so relaxing and I love it. So over here in the little corner I got some of those jars where you can put the bath bombs and that one on the floor on the left has bath salts. I have a little pillow and it has a suction cups on the back but it just never sticks. It only sticks when the tub is a little bit wet so I just leave it there and then I bust it out when when I'm gonna like lay down and take a bath. This Also this bathtub is a lot bigger though. It's a lot bigger than my old bathtub but I just really miss the old one more. I have this little painting here that I got at, no I got this, I was about to say Z Gallery but I got that at Bed Bath & Beyond. So here is the vanity. So I do have a lot of drawers which I really, really like. I definitely wish I had more storage. I don't know if you guys remember, but in my old bathroom, I actually had storage unit like on the wall right there and I had another one on top of the toilet. And those, believe it or not, those little storage spaces helped out so much. Like the first thing, honestly, that I would ever change of this apartment, if I ever like, you know, want to remodel something, it would definitely be my bathroom, just to get the tub with jacuzzi jets. I would definitely get a new vanity. This vanity has a little bit, some scratches that I kind of don't like and they kind of bug me. That's how they came when I got the place. Um, but I do like it. It's pretty updated. I don't think it's like an outdated vanity, but I really wish it was white. I would love to have it all white and I would get new countertops. So like when I dream of making any changes, the first change I have in my head is definitely my bathroom. Something I really do love from my bathroom though is that I have a separate shower so I didn't have that in my old bathroom and I really like that here because you know you don't have to go into the tub it's just easy to take a shower you know for, for like the daily shower it is great I have a ledge here where I can put all my products which I love I kind of do like that I feel like I would still keep you know the separate bath and the separate shower I would just make some changes on this side and then the toilet is a little bit hidden behind here which I kind of like that as well. So I have the toilet here, I put a towel rack up there to put more towels and I ended up buying this little thing at Home Goods just because I needed more drawers to put some stuff. So here is kind of like where I have all my hair stuff like the dryer, I have some brushes because I just really needed more storage space. So. Yeah, and then I have, you know, my shower cap, my robe, and all that 
behind the door. And voila, that is my bedroom. Super excited, super happy with it. This fan is also from Wayfair. Pretty much everything that is lighting, I got at Wayfair. And actually, when I moved in, that was a TV that I bought for the living room. But then I loved it so much in the living room that I was like, I need to get me a good TV in my bedroom. So I moved the one from my living room to my bedroom, and then I bought a bigger one for the living room. So that is the one that you guys saw there earlier today. <laughs> 